In question four, we have two parts and in each part we have to construct three equations starting with a given value of x. For example, in the first part we have to take x equal to two and construct three equations out of this. So this is actually quite easy. You can use any arithmetic operation, apply it to x and you can get um, any number of equations that you want to. So x is equal to two is our value. So let's uh, create our first equation out of this value. So what we could do is we could add any number to x. So for example, we could say x plus three because x is equal to two. So x plus three is equal to five. So this is one possible equation in x. Now let's make another equation out of this value of x. So this time let's multiply x with some number. So let's say four x and four x will be equal to eight because x is equal to two. So four x is e equal to eight is another equation in x. Finally, let's make a third equation, slightly more complicated equation in x. So let's uh, multiply x with some number. So we have three x, let's say. So three x is six, and then let's add another number to this. Uh, so we add five. So three x is six, six plus five is 11. So three x plus five equal to 11 is a third possible equation in x. So this question is as easy as this. You know, you can multiply, divide, add, subtract, anything that you want. Um, and get any number of equations that you want. All right, now let's do the same thing with x equal to minus two. This time let's try and make slightly more complicated equations. So as our first equation, let's divide x by two. So x by two, that will be minus one. And let's add three to this. So minus one plus three will be two. And then let's multiply this with five. So five times two will be uh, 10. So once again, if X is equal to minus two, then X by two, this term will be minus one, minus one plus three will be two, and two times five will be 10. So this equation will be satisfied by X equal to minus two. Now let's make another equation. Okay, so this time, let's uh, first add something to X. So let's say X is minus two. So let's make X plus seven. So x plus seven will be five. Now let's multiply this with the sum multiplier. So let's say three. So five into three will be 15. And then let's add something more to this. So let's say four. So 15 plus four will be 19. So this equation will also be satisfied by x equal to minus two. Finally, let's make a third equation in x equal to minus, using x equal to minus two. Um, this time let's first multiply x with something. So let's say we multiply x with four. So four x becomes minus eight. And then let's add something to this. So let's add 11 to this. So four x plus 11 will be three. Now let's divide this by three. So this will be one, uh, three by three will be one. And then let's add something to this. So this will be one plus two will be three again. So this is equal to three. This equation will also be satisfied by x. Uh, let's verify this again. So x is minus two means four x is minus eight minus eight plus 11 is minus uh, is plus three. Three by three is three by three is one and one plus two is three. Okay. So you can see that you can make any number of simple or complicated equations starting with um, any given value of the variable. So this is how you can solve question number four. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.